this indicator is showing the ambient air temperature of the inside chamber right now. This, if you can see the little snowflake and that flashing, that flashing means that the compressor's not on, it's on a cycle, and um, once it's permanently red, that means the compressor's on and it should start cooling. Okay? So without it per permanently red and flashing like that, it means the compressor's off and it's cycling. When that indicator dot moves in between into the two numbers here, which you see another snowflake with little water drops, that means defrost. Okay, so what we got to do is, uh, sh I'll show you, so now it's permanently red, the compressor started, and now the cooling started and it will drop the temperature. To see what temperature that you have set for, is so you press the set button, and it'll show you 32 degrees Fahrenheit flashing. So what that means is that that's what it's currently set for, so if you want to increase it, well, press the set button, increase it by pressing the arrow up button, decrease it, press the arrow down button, and then press set. And that's what it's currently set for. You press the set button and it reaches, it shows zero. So that's what our desired temperature we want. So to increase it, press the up arrow. To decrease it, press the down arrow. So we want it for zero. And then you would press set and away we go. But now we need to get into the parameters within this controller itself. And what you would have to do is press the arrow down button and hold it for five seconds. And you would see the on display appear on the screen here. Then to get into the parameters, you have to press and hold the set button for five seconds until it flashes and you see E1. So E1, uh, when you get into the parameters, you would have to do it quickly because it will lock you out and you would have to press and hold the set button for five seconds to get back in. So E1 is the lowest set point that we could get to. So what that means is the lowest temperature that the unit we could set for the customer or for whoever is using it on that unit. So we would check it by pressing the arrow down key and they set it for currently for minus 22. We don't want the customer to reach it at that temperature so we want to increase it to zero so when they go and press the set button the lowest temperature they can reach is zero degrees or two degrees minus two degrees or whatever the customer wants it for so if they could increase it or decrease it for the lowest set point they want depending on the products that are inside the fridge so you press E2, so it's the highest set point, the highest set point of what the fridge could reach. It's for the customer that wants it, so it doesn't want it to go above eight degrees. So let's check what this one says. So the customer doesn't want it to go above 10 degrees Celsius. So we go press E3. E3 is uh, temperature high stresses. So what that means is the rise and fall in a fluid motion so a stresses setting is the amount of narrowness or wideness of the temperature readings. For example, if you want your room to be a, a constant room temperature, you would have to set your thermostat to the low and high point of what the controller is. So you would press and hold it because I got locked out. And go to E3, press the arrow down button, and it's set for five. Let's put it to four. The reason why you want four is basically the highest and the lowest temperature if it goes off to set it at that temperature. So basically four degrees. So locking out again, press the set button. So E3 is not that important, but we usually put it at four degrees. E4 is a compressor start delay. So for every two minutes, you'll see that left once it reaches temperature, you see that left um, dot blink. That means the cycle's on for two minutes till it reaches um, that desired temperature. It cycles for two minutes and then starts up again. So that is E4, right? So 
E4 is every two minutes the compressor start delay. E5 is offset to the ambient room temperature of the room. So we set it for always zero degrees because we don't know, uh, you're never around the customer's um, fridge, so you wouldn't know what temperature they have it set for. So always leave it for zero degrees. So it locked me out again. So E5, so that's offset room temperature. E6 is offset uh, evaporated temperature. We'll always put it to zero because we can't test it. So the best thing to do is leave it at zero. So F1 is the max defrost duration. So we said normally for 20 minutes, which is set for 20 to 25 minutes is preferred. The reason why the longer you want is because you want to make sure that all the ice that is built up in the evaporator is, is gone. So it doesn't ruin the compressor or the uh, com customer does not call and complain saying, why is my uh, fridge doesn't work? So anywhere from 20 to 25 minutes, you want E6, uh, sorry, F1 to be set for 20 to 25 minutes. So now F2. We have it for six to eight. And the reason why, and the F2 is defrost interval time. So every six hours, it kicks on defrost. So we, we know that it will never freeze the evaporator. So F2 is defrost interval time. And remember, it's anywhere from six to eight, which represents um, uh, defrost in hours. So F3 is defrost termination temp, and we usually keep it at 12. And the reason why we do that is because um, it's either going to do it uh, 20 minutes to 25 minutes and defrost, or if it reaches 12 degrees first, it'll, it'll stop the defrost and kick back on because you don't want the products inside to get too warm. So F3, we want at 12 degrees. Hold down the set button. Let's go to F4. F4, always leave it at one degree because it, low, it shows the last uh, displayed room temperature inside the, the display case. Uh, once last set, went before it goes into defrost. So I would always recommend leaving it for one degree. Okay, and now how you see how it went back to Fahrenheit. So if the customer prefers Fahrenheit, remember C1, zero is Celsius and one is Fahrenheit. So let's change it back to uh, Celsius again. So press and hold that. And then go into C1, sorry I passed it. Press down and put zero. And just wait for it to lock out. And then I'll go back to Celsius. And then last but not least, I'll explain. So now I locked out and then now it's back to Celsius. And the current room temperature we are in is 22 degrees. And before you get off the phone with the customer, um, always press and hold down the arrow down button for five seconds until it says off, displayed off. So no one could go in and, and change the parameters that the customer or the owner would like set for their fridge. And it basically refrains from people going in and setting and changing certain things that shouldn't be touched. And that's it.